What's this all about? Getting ready for some company. Barbieri should be here any minute now. Barbieri's coming here. So he claims. Never known the man to be a liar. I <laughs> just got off the phone with him. I told him if he wanted to settle up, he'd be here waiting. For fuck's sake, Burke, you don't ever tell your enemy when and where you're gonna set up ah, the Christ, you're much too serious about all this. It takes the fun out of it. This hides. That's the worst that could happen. You could get us all killed. Aye, that I could. It's all right. It's just Nicky. Butcher and his boys are right behind me. You sure? If there's one benefit to being your miserable daughter, it's not know what a posse of Dago assholes out for blood looks like. I'll call him out with a spotlight on the water tower. I'll load it up some barrels with a special petrol mixer cooked up. I scatter them across the yard. A bullet will take them out. So don't be close to them when they blow. I'm gonna snipe those guinea fucks from the crane. You should head up to the roof. One last thing. You try to cut and run, I'll plant you myself. We clear? I'll see you when this is done. You might. You all right back there, lass? What's that? My die asking how I'm doing? Whatever have I done to warrant such fucking concern? A oh, shite girl, a simple yes or no would have been fine. Coming down the left lane. give two fucks about Burke's little pet nigglet. I want the mink alive. Got it? I'm gonna give him an ass fucking he's never gonna fucking forget. Bring him back fucking alive, that cocksucker.
Should have saved a bullet or two. The nigger and the mech working together. Fuck me. I never thought I'd live to see the day. What can I say? Brave new world. Still alive then. I see the legs still giving you fits, I'll fuck up. Ah, fuck you. You won't be so cocky once I take the acetylene to you. Fuck you! What do you think happens next, huh? You're gonna die, motherfucker. You're gonna hold next to me. You, your whole organization. You're gonna suck my dick in hell. You all right? Grab his legs. Time to get him into the garage. Fat cunt. We were never able to reconstruct precisely what happened to Barbieri, primarily because his body wasn't found until the mid-1980s. The Army Corps of Engineers was dredging the bottom of the Mississippi River, and his remains were found in the trunk of an old car. Both legs were broken so many times there was barely any bone left. Get ahead, where you mean I can? I'm a man who honors his agreements. And this right here is your full cut. The Irish are grateful to not have the butcher stuck in the goddamn streets. Whichever shitstorm you take on next, don't forget about old Burke. Nicky gets a bit of hay and matey, but they don't come tougher. Don't remember our deal involving taking for goddamn ever to execute Sal. Goddamn head is pounded. Need a fucking drink. Be yeah, everywhere. And not a drop to drink. Ah. They'll not leave thee, thy lone one, to pine on the stem. Since the lonely are sleeping, go sleep. With him. You already finished with Barbieri. Barbieri? No. By a long shot. Already told you. Day slow. As for you, show up like Lazarus himself. Name thing in a May self. This chalky bastard is either one of the luckiest sons of bitches that's ever lived, or the kind of man that invades rotten, damn luck. So goddamn sure it was the latter. I have to admit, I was wrong about you. You can thank me by calling me by my name. Die. Lincoln it is, then. It was funny. Things get taken from us. We convince ourselves we have to go out and inflict the pain on someone else. A little man what's busted up inside of us. But it does, it does. No. No. It does. Spent my entire goddamn life scratching and clawing at anyone who came along. Even if they were there to help. Look 
Royal fucking got me. It's the sense of changing. <sighs> Only way is forward. Now that Irish Point is back under your control, I'm gonna need you to bring in as much money as you can. Uh, Going after Marcano ain't gonna be cheap. Uh, I imagine you'll be wanting your cut in the proceeds. That's right. <laughs> Can't say I'm a fan of someone looming over me. But it deals it. I asked Nikki to manage those moonshine runs, but she can't bring them all on her own. That liquor hauls in a fair amount. We'll talk to her. She's around here somewhere if she ain't out quail hunting. Quail ain't in season. Oh, for her kind, it's always in season. <sighs> now. Oh, fuck. You'll excuse me. Oh, I've got to see the Mr. Barbieri. He's probably getting a little lonely. <laughs> lonely. have reported sustained gunfire. This network, as well as New Bordeaux Police, have been unable to substantiate these reports, but we'll update you as soon as we have more information. What a drag! earlier. My old man used to be whip smart. If anyone tried to pull some shit on him, he saw it coming a mile away. Now, fuck. Now he barely knows the goddamn day of the week. Said you could use some help. Some of our bars are down in the bayou. If you could get the shine from them and bring it back, it'd make my life a lot easier. The bayou ain't exactly my favorite place in the world. Come on now, the redneck assholes that live down there just love it when black folks drop by for a visit. <laughs> Ain't been time for small talk, but... Where you at with all this? All I really want is for everything to go back the way that it was. For Vietnam. Or that night, like when everything felt normal. At least our version of it, anyway. We are the righteously fucked. Danny. 
Was he in any pain? Did he suffer? Don't. Ain't nothing good coming from that. Who says I need good to come from it? Georgie shot him in the head. Looked like he went pretty quick. God damn it. I hate this fucking town. I better go. Yeah. Okay. Lincoln, just because Bobby Evers dead doesn't necessarily mean this neighborhood is firmly in our control. If he's still got any men hanging around, you should think about clearing them out. Not sure the devil himself would have been a worse father than my own. But I couldn't leave him. How fucked up is that? After everything he's done and not done, and I'm still bonded to the son of a bitch. I know it ain't a simple task I'm asking for, but you keep our shine coming in and the money will more than compensate. I get so tired of the neighborhood biddies always asking me when I'm getting married, when I'm having kids. What's the fucking rush? Like I need that hassle right now. I can't believe what I'm reading, what I'm hearing on the radio. What you doing? You knew how it was gonna go down. I sat right there and told you. Maybe I'm just realizing there's a difference between hearing about something in the abstract and seeing it splash across the front page in a newspaper. You didn't think I'd go through with it? I... I don't... No, I knew. I knew as soon as you regained consciousness, I could see it. I, I look at you, I see who you were. A little boy who didn't have much, but who also wasn't angry about it. A little boy who shared, who laughed, who, who just enjoyed being. I wonder what happened to him. He finally realized how things work. <laughs> Is that so? How many times was the orphanage vandalized by rednecks? How many times did we have to drive around asking restaurants for their leftovers because we didn't have nothing else to eat? Did we have to deal with racist assholes? Sure. But whenever they did something, folks come around and help us. White, black, Baptist, Lutheran, you name it. You know how all you boys got new jackets on Christmas? Those came from an old white woman, a Calvinist. She spent the entire year making them. If all you ever look for is evil, it's all you ever gonna see. I gotta go. I... I never wanted this for you, Lincoln. I wanted you to have a good life. I wish I had the words to turn you away from this path, son. God help me, I wish I did. Hey, Lincoln, everything back to normal here now, thanks to you. You're him, aren't you? Lincoln Clay. Vito asked me to come see you. 
He wants our guys to do double the runs. Double the runs means double the chances of running into the Coast Guard. Well, I don't think I'm gonna be too much help dealing with them. So I will deal with those hijos de la gran puta. I need someone to keep the warehouses full, keep the money coming in. How much we talking? Enough to make it worth your troubles. You're gonna be hitting trucks for the contraband. Seems simple enough. I'll let you know when I get the first truck. You didn't just save his life, you know? You brought him back. The real Vito. What I mean is, I haven't seen this Vito in a really long time. And I don't want him to go back to the way he was. You got something to say, I'm gonna just say it. What's gonna happen next? You need him, and you need us now. So you give Marcano the fucking he deserves. Is it back in the freezer again? Would you believe me if I say no? No. I don't think so. But I believe very few people these days. And if Vito said this is the way things are, that's how they are. If you see any of Greco's men out there, you should deal with them. It will make it easier for us to conduct business. I got my hands on prime shipments out there. Go bust up some heads and bring it back here. I'll take it from there. Vito's had a lifetime of people fucking him over. You're not gonna be another one, are you? The sooner you get those trucks loaded in the warehouse, the sooner it will bring in some money. Trying to corrupt some runs to Havana next month, but I can't find anyone. When the fuck did everybody turn pussy? Ah, you want to buy something? You need to talk to Cassandra. She said you could use some help. Assuming you're a manual. Assume at your own risk, Lincoln Clay. So running the weed, y'all got a routine laid out? We take a boat to the bayou, grab the bales, bring them back. Bayou can be a rough territory. Dixie Mafia knows every inch. <laughs> Does those white boys scare you, Fred? Did they touch your zozo when you were a child? Cassandra failed to mention your charming personality. I highly doubt she forgot. You do this kind of thing back in Haiti? Back in my country, I was a hoogan, a priest. What's a priest know about trafficking weed? I did not run marijuana, Fue. My cargo was refugees, people. I saved their lives. Got them away from Duvalier. But you probably don't know much about that. We gonna have a problem, you and me? Cassandra says we are partners, that everything is cool between us. Are we cool? Don't think I call it that. Neither would I. Now, Cassandra might be able to let go of what you did to our people, but I cannot. Maybe you'd be happier back in Haiti. It was not my chance to come here. Leave my home. But I'm trying to make the best of it. Aren't we all? There are still Dixie Mafia scattered around the hollow. If you have the time, you should see to them. Convince them to leave. Shipments of weed is being delivered down in the bayou. Get a boat, use it to bring everything back. Cassandra is a woman of great strength, fiercely independent. But sometimes she uses her independence to keep others at a distance. The goddamn Huifa is not going to get behind the wheels and drive itself here, Fre. Go and get it. Running Huifa carries a lot of risk. Not the least of which are the gators and those redneck assholes. But they are packs. Hmm? As long as you have a light, that is. Oh, 
loaded, for. donkey some bitch. How the fuck I know it's really hooch? That's when I sample the goods. Uh-uh, keep moving. Got a feeling. That definitely wasn't no squirrel. Right. So Someone else killed him? Gotta show up sometime. Uh. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Believe he went back to that spot where I made his head and crawled in a hole. We're done, lost one. We will find you, cocksucker. Believe that. Perfect timing. I was just about to have lunch. How'd it go? Fast cars and shine. Was not to like. Word coming down is that some motherfuckers might try to hit you. So watch your ass. Yes, ma'am. Guess who I saw coming out of the market yesterday? Denny McGill. No shit, Denny McGill? I haven't heard that name in years. Fuckers married. Four kids. Oldest Rachel is six. Damn. Can you imagine having four kids right now? Not without there being some kind of ransom involved. <laughs> Every time I run into folks like him, they start asking me when I'm settling down, when I'm gonna have a family. It always makes me feel like I don't belong, like there's something wrong with me. Ain't nothing wrong with you. Hell, look at me. Never knew my parents, don't know a damn thing about who I am or where I came from. That hadn't stopped the world from deciding for me keeps finding people who don't give a fuck about any of that. Like when you and me are kicking back, shooting the shit. We just cool. Well, I'm cool. You, on the other hand, a pretty big fucking dork. A dork? <laughs> what are you, 12? Well, shit. Those are the days. I could get shit-faced at night and still ace the math test the next day. <laughs> Listen, Lincoln... There's... never mind. It can wait. Don't worry about what Denny McGill thinks. Fuck him. Yeah. 
Fuck them. Be careful out there. Danny fancied himself a race car driver, and he was damn good at it, too. But he hated these runs. Thought they were a giant bore. He took care of that problem by setting up races between the moonshine pickups and drop-offs. Stupid bastard always had to make things harder than they needed to be. Guess that's what they really mean by the luck of the Irish. Some nights, he comes home blasted to the moon and passes out on the floor. After a while, I hear him mumbling to himself about Danny, our ma. Folks from Belfast who passed on years ago. It reminds me of how much pain he's in. Grief like no other. And I hate him even more. Our moonshine loving bayou brothers are ready for you to get down there and pick up the next load. Just maybe go light on sampling the product. Never turned out well for me. Some dipshit from Ohio asked me what the legal drinking age was here in New Bordeaux. But by the time I got done laughing, he was already gone. Wops know if it's in the bayou, that shit belongs to Dixie. Holy shit, move your ass! Huh? I'll find that bastard. Huh? What? He's killing us! Get over here! We, we got, got a boss! Yeah, you fucker. That fucker's tearing us a new one. Lost enough. Coño, no necesito esta mierda. What? Trouble? Yeah, my whole fucking life. It's a letter from my grandmother. It writes me to wish my mother happy birthday. You know, 
who she saw get dragged away back in 10 October. Jesus. Don't. It's nothing. Fuck it. You got something for me? I got another truck stash ready for you guys to pick up. Really? Huh. Our kind of guys are fucking pussies. No problem then? Not a one on my end. Good. So it shouldn't be a problem to bring more trucks. Sure, Alma. I'll see what I can do. After this guy and I screwed last night, he started yammering on and on about some shit. I was only halfway listening. But he hooked me when he started talking about this warehouse I had my eye on. Turns out they just got some new shipments. I want them. And if you see any of the delivery trucks, bring them back here and I will see what we can salvage. <clears throat> if Vito starts pissing and moaning about somebody named Joe, just let him. Son of a bitch has been through a lot. Shouldn't you be out there still in trucks and making yourself a pain in Marcano's ass? We're gonna get 3,000 pounds of yams. You know what, don't worry about it. <laughs>